Guys, thank you for stopping by my page. As you guys all are well aware of, I am not a professional. I don't edit videos. I just record them off my phone. Um, it's normally pretty raw. So you're probably here because you heard about this head unit. This is the T8 8-core head unit. This is the China Special. Um, you guys may have heard of that phrase before off the China Special TRD grills. Um, this head unit comes from, obviously from China. Um, if you don't go to the right vendor, you may not get the same quality. Let me repeat that. If you don't go to the right vendor, you may not get the same quality. What I mean by that, if you go on AliExpress, you may be able to get this head unit for about 50 bucks cheaper, right? But what that does not guarantee you is you're getting the same quality head unit that I'm getting. Um, I will post the exact place that I got mine from, right? And I'll explain shipping and all that other stuff. But what we found out through the TRD grills is there will be multiple suppliers of the TR, TRD grill and the quality will change and it would vary um, based off the seller. My guy, which is the same guy that got this head unit, is the guy that first came out with them and the quality in the replica was a one-to-one -one exact. Um, we compared it to actual TRDs, the grills, and it was it was a it was a straight copy everything was perfect and the reason why i express that is because again you guys might be able to find this head unit for about $50 cheaper on aliexpress that doesn't guarantee you're getting the same head unit it may look the same it may have the same stats but it may not go through the same quality control you're not going to get the same customer service um from the guy that I'm going to link down below um, in the comment section. And you're also going to get 25% off. Um, with that being said, I'm going to turn on the head unit. And I want you guys to see exactly uh, the startup, the boot, and everything. And then we'll kind of go through all the settings and the cool features that I believe um, this head unit has. Um, so because I had the head unit on before... There's a one hour delay where if your vehicle's turned off for one hour uh, or less, it actually boots right back up. Um, let's say you're getting gas and then you don't want, you know, you, you get out, you, you pump your gas, you come back in and then you start up. Then you have to wait a whole 30 seconds for it to boot up. But you pretty much get a Toyota emblem uh, in logo in the center and then it says Android and then it boots up. So one thing you saw when you first popped it on was uh, the heat. I actually have my heat off, so I'm going to open the door and I'm going to show you one of the features there. There you go. So all the doors do that. It will let you know on the dash if one of your doors are open. Um, it will also let you know, let's turn the heat on. It's going to let you know there. It's going to let you know that we're doing dual max and that's going to change. It's going to change through each and every one of them. I thought that option was really cool. I thought... Just that little bit right there, that little extra that is connected in there, um, was very cool. Um, so one of the one of the other things that I and you are probably concerned about is your stock rear camera. Will that work? So let's throw it in reverse. Sorry for my dirty car. And it does work. And it's actually better than the stock one because I'm going to turn the wheel, and you're going to see that turn as well. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, also, you're able to keep the steering wheel buttons to work as well. All of them. All the buttons here work with that. Don't have to cut anything. Comes with if you get the right harness, um, like I didn't, uh, you won't have any issues. So I bought the. I didn't know that I had the uh, JBL for whatever reason. So I got the wrong harness. They quickly sent me out the right one. All plug and play. Don't have to cut into anything. They give you um, a Wi-Fi extender that goes in the back of this. They also give you a GPS extender that actually ran into the back and then put on the top. So it's not on here, but it's on the bottom of this going up. I'm not sure if that matters or not. Um, I have my phone tethered to the uh, head unit as well. I also have that connected to the Wi-Fi in the house. On top of that, I linked up my Gmail. I linked up, let's go 
Ouch. Where are you? So, we also have ways. Oh, I held it. Sorry about that. There it goes. Um, also, I have ways in there as well. Let's close that out. I don't know what the, what's that all about. All right. So, ways does work. Um, I've been able to report. It moves fairly fast. Um, right now, my internet, as you can see, is low because I'm running off the Wi-Fi in the house because I want a better quality of video. So, let's shut that down. So that's done. I threw the weather app in there too, just so I can get it up top. Um, it comes with some stock uh, apps on there. One of them was like a GPS thing that I kind of didn't like, so I just deleted that. It has this other like fuel thing here that I kind of don't like as well. I just saw a bunch of... Oh. Anyways, uh, a couple other small little apps in here. I added Gas Buddy. I added Google Maps, I added Google, I added Chrome, I added Stitcher, I added Spotify, Waze, and the weather. That's all I care about. I can run Netflix on this, I can run YouTube on this, I can probably play games on this, right? But um, A, you probably shouldn't be doing that while you're driving, um, but it is possible. I can also connect my cell phone to stream onto this as well so whatever i have on my uh phone will uh what's it called mirror onto this thing too uh let's see what else you guys might want to know um the equalizer here is actually pretty important i've went over this before um based off your stereo and how you listen to music that you might want to come in here and mess around with that um i didn't think i i would want to but i actually did um it's it's a little weird because um, Waze is running in the back and, it, and it, Waze is, gets really loud, louder than, than the music. So I got to figure out how to, how to mess with that. Um, do I run? Mm, let me, let me, let me backtrack. Pros. Let's go pros and cons. Pros. This thing is clean, man. It looks, it looks stock. It looks OEM. It runs smooth uh, when it's tethered to my phone and not oh, look my internet just dropped uh so when the internet's fast when it's tethering off your phone it runs smooth flawless no problems um what else the i'm gonna give you my only con this is literally the only problem that i have and i mentioned it earlier in the video you can see it's got a little bit of a glare you see that right so right now i'm in a little bit of shade but the glare is pretty bad while you're driving Amazon sells for like 10 bucks a little sheet that you just put right over that. Anti-glare should be no problem. That is my only con with this thing. Um, but side note, you have to maybe give it a little bit of love when you push these buttons. It's not like your cell phone where you just kind of glance. You know, it's just smooth and, it, and it's running. This runs smooth, but you kind of have to give it a little bit of a push. Uh, probably like the older model you know iphones or galaxies or whatever you just kind of push it a little bit but um i mean it runs it runs i can run facebook i can do all that that stuff in here but again it's not really you know what while i'm on here with you guys i need to download pandora so let's we could do that together <sighs> i may run kind of slow because i'm running slow internet um some people have asked me about xm radio so this is what i'm going to tell you can you have XM radio? Yes. Yes, you can. You got to download the app and then you log in through the app and there's your XM radio. But you lose internet service, your XM radio is gone. So it's not like your traditional XM radio that actually connects to the satellite regardless of where you're at. So keep that in mind. I don't have XM radio or whatever they're called now. I run strictly off Spotify, Pandora, I'll jump back and forth through those. Um, and then Stitcher for all my podcasts. Um, those are really the main three things that I'm concerned about. Um, as you can see, it's taking kind of long because if, I don't know if you guys can see this. My internet is, is kind of it's the lowest bar, and you guys you guys know what that means. But that's because I'm I didn't want to tether it uh, from my phone while while I'm streaming or making videos rather. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm gonna let that down. Oh, it started downloading anyways. 
So again, you could just kind of play with it. Google Assistant works great. I love Google Assistant. Um, I'm actually taking this video off of Pixel 3 XL. Um, so everything was kind of like streamlined for me. It was just like load up your account, get your Gmail, get all this stuff. It pops up, uh, phone calls. Let's see if we could do this. See? You get your phone calls, your number, and all that. One of the things I will let you know, this does have a mic in the front here, right? And it has a reset button over here. Um, other people have said this mic is perfectly fine for them. I, on the other hand, I'm a little bit sick right now. Um, I try not to yell. Um, but when I was talking to somebody on the phone, they said they couldn't, they couldn't hear me too well. So on the back of this head unit, there's actually a mic that you can plug in. It comes with your kit. Uh, in the harness, it'll come with, um, I don't know if you guys could see that, but it will come with an extra mic, and mine is right there, I just ran the wire down there, under, and it's plugged in, and now it's crystal clear, no problems, so if that little thing bothers you, then you can just use the stock mic there, um, it also, here, let me just, give me a second, I want to show you some of the stuff that it comes with, this is the USB, which utilizes your stock camera to uh, for the backup lights. Uh, and where is it? There's also a GPS. I think I mentioned that earlier. Oh, here it is. It's also a GPS wire. To extend that, I ran that through the back, and it's under here. Don't know if I need it again because it's tethered to my phone, so I would assume that it's getting all the GPS locations from my phone. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. I still ran all the wires. I plugged in everything. No issues. Um, you might want to see me run Spotify and put some music on. If I haven't already done that. And it should... There it goes. Uh, I don't know if you guys could see that because the glare's kind of bad. But um, it will also load all the pictures. All this... Again, anything that the stock app can do this head unit could do as well okay so uh ring uh your garage door you know all those apps that are over there you can totally put those on here and, and run it off from here i was actually able to put the uh, my local gas station and if you download and use their app you save 10 cents so i actually downloaded that as well and when i pull up to the gas station hit the app put the pump in hit go start pumping gas no debit card, no nothing, no issues, none of that. So that is a nice convenience. Um, I don't. I really don't know what else you guys might want on here. I'm gonna post this on the forums, uh, so you guys could kind of look at it. You know, if you if you guys want to make fun of it, whatever you guys want to do. Um, I'm not changing my head unit out anymore. This is exactly what I was looking for. This is the right price that I was looking for. Um, you may want Apple CarPlay. I will link you guys to another vendor um, that is selling like an Apple CarPlay using your stock head unit. Just be very wary. I haven't dealt with that person yet directly. Um, and I've heard, and then, you know, and we all know how the internet goes, but I've heard that they have had some instances where they've taken um, payment and then not shipped the product. And they're located in Korea. So there's that. Um, I can give you not only the link where to order this from, the saving you 25% on top of that, but if you ever had any issues, I will lo I will put their information down below. There's two, two people that you could talk to, and they will get you updates on your tracking. If you ever had any issues, you go directly to the supplier, and he will make things right. If you guys remember, um, because there was such a flooding of the TRD grill, uh, there was a little backlog, and he also refunded small portions. He also added uh, TRD badges for free. All this stuff was for free, and you still kept the uh, TRD, TRD grill. I actually saw a couple of you guys online, I'm not going to name names, that uh, got fully refunded for your TRD grills, and then you guys still got the grill uh, in time. And I'm, I'm not sure whether you guys paid that or not. That's none of my business, but um, that's the type of customer service this guy has. And his products although they're from china which is a, it's not a negative thing uh his products are very good um i'm gonna show you guys let's see what else 
maybe I was going to show the TRD grill. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to show you guys, even though this is for the head unit, I'm just going to show you guys the TRD grill because if you don't have that, he's also the same supplier for that. And I think he's selling them now for $150 free shipping. Uh, also, the free shipping um, for this head unit as well. Uh -uh. So that's the TRD grill. Um, I haven't had any issues. I was one of the first people to uh, to get it. I also have the uh, amber lights that he also supplies. Um, I decided to go with two instead of the four. You could do three, whatever whatever you want. Um, so that's the that's the grill. Comes with this uh, centerpiece right there, and then it also comes with the top piece right there. Uh, you can get the uh, amber lights optional but that's not why you're here you're here because you want this head unit you're thinking about getting it and you got some reservations because it's from china so what i will tell you is i think it is worth every penny okay i have a hour commute every day and i've been able to run at least five apps at once you know in you know going in the background like your cell phone and it hasn't lagged, hasn't shut off, hasn't um, stuttered. The audio quality is clear. That's not even 25%. Um, and that's all I want. So if you plan on gaming on this, if you plan on watching like video for hours on end, you know, I can't, I can't tell you yes or no if you can do that. You know, I know you can do it, but for how long and how well it runs, I can't tell you that. Um, because that's not what I'm using it for. Um, I know some of you guys want to like game, like play Fortnite on this thing. It's like, guys, this is a head unit. It's, you know, if you want an iPad for the kids, get them an iPad. I actually show you something else. Speaking of that, I got the boys, uh, TV monitor in the back from the same supplier and has HDMI ports and all that good jazz, so we're gonna be ready to rock when we go on vacation. Both the boys have that. Oh, what was that? So, I'm gonna wrap this video up. It's about 20 minutes long. You can skim through it, go through it. I just, again, I know on the forums you guys had asked me, uh, YouTube, um, this asks where this is going. Uh, the Facebook forums, uh, I am mostly on uh, pretty much on all the Forerunner forums, but you could catch the most up to date information on the Forerunner mod um, group that's on there. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a uh, comment down below. Right? You guys know all the you guys know the drill. I don't care if you subscribe. I also don't care if you like dislike i don't care about that stuff because i'm not in it for the long game i only put videos up of things that i don't see online that i have so i have gone out to look for video of this and i didn't find anything i have gone out before to look on videos of bikes and stuff like that I haven't found it so i posted it so that's the only reason why i do this not because i'm trying to get money like followers and all that kind of i don't care i'm only posting this video again for you guys that can't find any other information on this. And as far as I'm aware, I'm the only person in the whole United States that has this head unit for the Forerunner in the United States. Now, I know there's a couple guys up in Canada that might have it, um, but in the States, I'm the only guy. So take that for what you want. I'm not making any money off these head units. I'm not selling them. Uh, I'm just solely reviewing the guy. Um, and I've, I've had a really pleasurable, I guess you could say, experience. No uh, PC. I'm going to say that PC. Um, and I will continue to buy products from him. Uh, his customer service has been on point. And we all get that little pit in our stomach when we deal with someone overseas, whether we're going to get robbed or not, and the so on and so on. Every person I've, I've heard that's dealt with this guy has had a great experience. So again, the information is going to be linked down below. I'm also going to put the group, uh, I think it's a group buy, but I'm also going to put the 25% off code that I used. Um, so it should knock it down to about 450, 460, something like that, free shipping. 
and you should get it within a week or two from China and it is packed nice man it is packed so nice and no issues again get the right wire harness whether you have an SR5 a TRD uh, a limited do not get this one get the one with the bus on it um, because then none of your controls will work your reverse camera won't work your steering wheel won't, won't work and you get a little upset you feel like you got you know, cheat it, and then you got to go reach out to him, and then he's got to send it back and forth. Don't need to do it. So, thank you again for watching. I'm sorry this was so uh, drawn out. I'm sorry if I was talking a lot. I'm sorry if I sound weird. Um, I'm sick. I'm coming over the flu. So, again, DM me, PM me, put it in the comments, and I'll do my best to respond back to you guys. Is this worth the money? I believe so. Um, I might give a update. Um, in the coming months maybe maybe i'll do an update in three months i don't know you guys tell me um but yeah if it's, if you think it's running a little bit slow i apologize again my internet is all the way down all right take it easy bye guys